is the next craft to add to your weather station and it's going to be super fun. The materials you need for this craft are a thick piece of cardboard and a thin piece of cardboard or cardstock paper. I used a cracker box, so go searching for different materials to recycle. You will also need a pencil with an unused eraser at the end of it. You will need a thumbtack, straw, markers, protractor, ruler, and scissors. First, we will make our base for our wind vane out of the thick cardboard. Find a circular shape to trace. I used a dinner plate, so anything works. We want this circle to be pretty big. Cut out this circle from the cardboard. Next, we need to find the center point of our base. How we will do this is by measuring the whole diameter of the circle. We will, we will divide this length in half to find the center of the diameter. For me, my diameter, or the length of my circle, was 9 centimeters, so I drew a small line at the 4.5 mark with my ruler. Measure the diameter horizontally and find the middle point from that line. This line should make a small X with the other line you have just drawn. That X is your center point of your base. Now we can split our circle in half. Draw a line from this, that center point all the way across that base. We will then use a protractor to measure the 90 degree angle from that line. We will line up the zero degree line at both ends of your protractor to the line you drew. We will line up the little tick in the center of your protractor to your center point of the circle you drew, and then we'll find the 90 degree angle and make a small mark. Flip the protractor and find the 90 degree angle on the other side of the line and then connect both of these ticks with each other with your ruler. Now you, now you have divided your circle into equal quarters. Next, we will divide our circle into eighths by lining up our protractor again and finding the 45 degree angle for each line. We will connect these lines too and make sure that our wind vane base is divided into eight different sections and that it looks sort of like a pizza or a pie or something like that. We will finish our base by labeling each segment with the cardinal directions. So the cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west, and the directions in between are northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. Now we can move on to our actual vein. We will take our thinner cardboard and cut a triangle from it. My triangle has side lengths of three centimeters each, so you kind of want it around that size. We will take our straw and cut little strips across from each other and fit the triangle through the straw slits that we just cut. If it isn't tight in that triangle, you can use tape to secure the triangle to the straw better. Take the pencil and slowly press it through your base. Attach the straw to your pencil by carefully piercing your straw with a thumbtack and then by sticking the thumbtack through the eraser of your pencil. Make sure the thumbtack is not too tight on the straw so that the straw can spin around freely. And there you go. Now to begin recording the weather. So I came out to my backyard and here I have put my wind vane in a more open space. It's a decently windy day um, and I didn't do it in my backyard because there was my garage and my house that were actually blocking it. So here is the my wind vane and um, we can see how it's working. So here it's blowing in the wind, which is pretty fun. It's going and it's been mostly south, but kind of southwest or southeast as the winds gust around here. Um, how you, what you have to make sure you do is uh, make sure you line it up with the north. So I'm just going to check to see if my I lined it up good. And how you do that is you can honestly just use a phone compass here. And as you can see, I have this, and I want to line up this needle on the top with the N. So for north obviously so once the needle is lined up with north boom there it is that's pretty exciting so we know that north is facing that way which my n is facing if it wasn't i could just rotate this so it's facing that way and then we can see our wind vane in action how exciting okay so now you have finished your wind vane and it works pretty well so we might as well put it to use so you can keep it with your other weather station tools that you're building and see if you can track the direction of the wind each day. Now, if you're building the nephoscope, they both measure the same thing, but it's it actually will help you to uh, see if your measurements are accurate. So you can measure with a nephoscope and then see if that lines up with the wind vane. If it doesn't, what do you think is different about the wind that you're measuring from the bottom by the ground versus the wind in the sky? What would be affecting that? 
And yeah, that's basically it. So by all means, feel free to send me pictures and any questions you have. And yeah, this was fun and I'll see you next time.